Hello everyone, I'm Michael Sattler, a software engineer at Nexio. Today I'm thrilled to share with you how we managed to combine fast feedback development environments in a Kubernetes-based infrastructure using a powerful tool called Tilt. So, first, a few words about Nexio. We are a Vienna-based startup focusing on managing and sharing distributed data. Our goal is to create solutions that enable secure and efficient ways to connect, discover, and leverage enterprise data. So let me quickly introduce you to some problems our development team had to face. Probably some of you are familiar with similar scenarios in your work. Problem number one, missing fast feedback. At Nexio, we highly value receiving immediate feedback on code changes in our development environment as it greatly improves the developer experience and allows our team to deliver features quickly. To address this, we dedicated a significant amount of time to configuring different local infrastructure setups that catered to the needs of our backend and front-end developers. Since our infrastructure is built on Dockerized microservices, we initially used several Docker Compose files that you could combine to um, start up different setups. Even with these setups, there were still way too many manual steps included, such as compiling our Go and Java services when changes were made and restarting Docker containers. In some cases, you had to wait up to 20 minutes for the CI pipelines until an image was built and could be pulled from our private container registry to test locally. At least that gave us an excuse to play a round of ping pong in the meantime. Problem number two, many different hard to manage dev setups. Since our humble beginnings in 2021, our code base and the amount of microservices have grown rapidly, leading to a more and more complex system infrastructure. In the beginning of 2023, we decided to transition our infrastructure to a cloud first approach, using Kubernetes and multiple Azure services all deployed via Terraform and Helm to tackle scalability and enable fully automated deployment. As a result, our local development environment and our CI CD test pipelines gradually became very different from the production system. This mismatch made it difficult to keep our development setup up to date and aligned with our evolving infrastructure. It resulted in spending more time on maintenance tasks rather than developing valuable features for our customers. Getting a new team member up to speed on the different dev setups they could use included setting up too many things in too many places and it was never a smooth process. Problem number three. Because of the these diverging um, environments, we were constantly asking ourselves, will it really work in prod? We could be less and less certain that if it worked on our local machines or in the CI jobs, it would work the same way in production. A classic example of the it works on my machine problem. Taking a setup thing, uh, take setting up SSL certificates locally so we could access the front end over HTTPS as an example. This process was nothing like the automated process in the production Kubernetes cluster. And since we used self-signed certificates, it felt rather rough and ready. So fortunately, we discovered Tilt, a tool that very elegantly solves all of these problems and more. Tilt is an open source microservice development environment for teams that deploy to Kubernetes. By automating the synchronization of code changes with running services in a locally run K3D Kubernetes cluster, Tilt streamlined our development process and brought efficiency to the forefront. You can declaratively describe your dev infrastructure in the Tilt file written in a Python-like configuration language called Starlark. Supporting all your favorite programming uh, language features such as for loops and conditionals and functions, um, you start with defining all your services and processes needed for infrastructure, including building Docker images, uploading them to a local container registry, and deploying to the Kubernetes cluster. One simple shell command, tilt up, and watch as tilt seamlessly deploys all your services in your development environment while keeping them perfectly synced with your local files. 
So after you've written your first tilt file and started everything up, you could think of the whole process as tilt just doing its magic, deploying to your cluster and syncing with your files and you would be fine. Tilt will just make sure that the cluster is in sync with your local file changes. But for the curious, let's get a little bit more into detail. With some heuristics, the tilt engine can groups, group, set up, build and deploy steps of your, de of your individual services defined in the tilt file into so-called resources. When you define dependencies on files and folders for certain resources in the tilt file, the engine will re-execute all of the affected resources when it detects changes to these dependencies. So it would once again build a Docker image, deploy your Kubernetes manifests to the cluster and the like. As a bonus, you can easily monitor what these resources are doing via the tilt dashboard, which also made our infrastructure easier to grasp for the non-Kubernetes savvy members of our team. So how, does, how do we use it at Nexio and which advantages does it give us? With Tilt, we now have one shareable config file for custom dev setups. We did that by setting up our Tilt file to read in a configuration and condi conditionally start specific resources only when the config says so. Once this was set up, it ended hours of tweaking dozens of files to update local infrastructure. Leveraging the powerful syntax of the Tilt file also made maintenance way less painful. Different de development setups can now be easily run and shared among team members by updating the tilt config.json file. If my colleague is having a problem, for example, running API tests on their system, they can send me their config file and I can try recreating and hopefully help solving their problems in the same environment in a matter of minutes. Next, tilt allowed us to synchronize dev, CI, CD and prod environments. It really, turned to, uh, it really turned out to be the missing puzzle piece that enabled us to synchronize our local dev and production workflows. K3D takes over the role of a production cluster, while Tilt controls deployment like Terraform would in production. And, if it's, and, if it's, and as if that weren't enough, Tilt seamlessly integrates with our CI-CD pipeline, taking Nexio's end-to-end -end tests as an example. In our CI test jobs, we can just run K3D controlled by, you guessed it, Tilt. And it very closely simulates the production system and um, is reproducible on our local machines. As you can see in the picture, all of our environments are going to the same processes using either Terraform or Tilt to control deployment of our Helm charts to the K3D or Asia Kubernetes cluster. Adding new services to the local dev infrastructure now truly feels like setting up it up once and running it everywhere. We are using the same Helm charts we use for production locally, which means less work and more realistic dev environments. So to show you how Tilt significantly increased fast feedback on changes in the infrastructure, I'm going to show you a little demo. So our setup supports running up to three Nexio data hub, a data hub being one instance of our main product. I have already started up our local K3D cluster and tilt with a specific configuration. In the tilt config, you can see that I have started two of our hubs and one hub, hub zero, is running our control plane backend microservice in dev mode, allowing fast updates to the hubs um, and syncing everything together. Specifically, it will only update to the control plane resource if files in the services control plane directory or the, on the right hand side change. I have fed this configuration to tilt on startup and all our resources should already be running. Let's have a look at the very useful tilt dashboard now. As you can see, all green lights are indicating that all of our resources are running smoothly. We also group resources belonging to the individual hubs. Now let's get into coding, I'd say. So today I want to check up on the generation of our API keys, which can be used by more technical users that want to use our API scripts in, uh, yeah, or API in scripts or in similar things. So let's generate a new API key and check maybe how that looks. So we see, okay, the length of the API key 
I feel like it could be a little bit longer. Um, so let's just move over to our backend code written in Go. And I already opened up the function that generates the API key. And for that, we're using a little helper function that generates a uh, random string and it takes as an input an arbitrary length. And we've set it at the moment to 32 characters. And why not just double the length and see how that will look. So I've just doubled the length here and saved the file. And now I can switch back to tilt. And I should see that it automatically um, detected the file change and uh, updated the pod in the Kubernetes cluster. So now let's see if it really worked. We can go back to the front end in a second. And it should also already have been updated here. So let's go once back to the settings where we can generate API keys and generate a second API key with expiration date. And ta-da, now our API key is twice as long. Great success. So uh, as you can see, maybe in, in some environments that is, um, like standards, if you have like just uh, a React JavaScript server running locally, this works out of the box really well. Problem is uh, when you have a compiled language as Go running in the Kubernetes cluster, this gets way more uh, fancy to set up and Tilt just does that like extremely easily. And what it, that, what it did in that case was really it only copied the newly compiled binary of Go inside of the running pod, and that's all there is to it. And it did that in 1.1 second, which is really mind blowing in, in some way. So yeah, um, I hope this demo could convince you that Tilt with the help of K3D can bridge the gap between developing with fast feedback while having a Kubernetes based infrastructure, enabling a realistic close to production development environment. Tilt has become the secret sauce in our development kitchen at Nexio, at most times quietly doing its magic in the background. It has greatly facilitated our workflow, reduced development time and created a more efficient and realistic development environment. And honestly, it makes working so much more fun. As you may have guessed by now, our team at Nexus is a big fan of Tilt. And if you are facing similar challenge in your in development environment, I can only recommend giving Tilt a shot. The docs on tilt.dev are a great starting point for that. So thank you so much for listening. If you have any further questions about Tilt or about our work at Nexio, feel free to hit me up via email or LinkedIn.